So our next speaker is uh, Shayoni. So she'll talk about um, graph burning problem. So today I'm going to talk about graph burning problem, which is a joint work with Pradisha, Lokin, Saket, Abhi, and Shelly. So here is the outline of my talk. So let's start, this is a graph problem. So let's start by understanding what is the graph. A graph consists of a vertex set and an edge set. So like you can see the dots, so these are my vertices. So here are six vertices. And what is an edge? Edge is, uh, we call two vertices are adjacent if there is a line between them. And this line we call edge. So here are the edges of my graph. So for this graph, the vertices are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is my edge set. So edge is written as an ordered pair of two vertices. Now let us define some notions which I need for my defining my problem. So neighbor of a vertex. So uh, if I look at 1, 1 is adjacent to only 2. So 2 is a neighbor of 1. Similarly, if we say neighbor of 3, 2, 6 and 4 are neighbor of 3. So we say neighbor of a vertex is those vertices which are adjacent to that vertex. Now any... Uh, op a problem um, is called NP hard if each instance of the problem we cannot solve it optimally in polynomial time. So I have underlined each instance optimally and polynomial time because it can happen that one instance we can solve. It is not that we cannot solve anything but yes each instance we cannot solve. And so it is becoming hard. And so what we can do is we can um, like relax optimality and then we get approximation algorithm. So what will happen there? We will not get an optimal answer, but we will be happy with a near optimal answer. Like suppose my answer, optimal answer is 2, but we are happy if we get 4 and we call it a 2 approximation because 2 times 2 is 4 like that. But if we don't want to compromise with the optimality, we can also compromise with the polynomial time. So there we, uh, we are uh, working with parameterized algorithms where there is a parameter and are, we are happy if our um, uh, algorithm runs in some uh, function of the parameter, but it is giving an optimal answer. Now let us define our problem. So, here we have taken a graph and this graph burning problem is a time step uh, problem. Like step by step it will happen. So what we do is in the first step we will put fire on a vertex and then it will burn that vertex. And our final goal is to burn the whole graph. So how will we do that? In the first step only one vertex is burned. So the rest of the vertices are unburned. The black vertices are unburned and the red one is burned. So in the next step what we will do is we will choose one vertex from the unburned vertices and we again put fire to that and it will get burned. Not only that, what we will do is whatever is burned in the first step that is here is A, we will also burn his neighbor. So the fire is spreading to the adjacent vertices or to the neighbors. So now in step 2, 3 vertices are burned. So what will in happen in step 3? Again we will choose a new vertex. Here I have chosen G and we put fire to that. And where we are putting fire, we call it the source vertex. And also C, D and F got burned because C is adjacent to B and D and F are adjacent to E. So now here we can see this graph is burned within 3 steps. So, and we have given fire to A, E and G. So that is my burning sequence and the burning number is 3. And we can check that we cannot burn the graph with less than 3 steps. So that is the minimum number of steps we require. So what is the definition we call that the minimum number of rounds we need to burn the whole graph that is called the burning number. And burning problem, graph burning problem is our aim is to find that burning number. And as we defined earlier, NP-heart problem that we cannot solve every instance 
optimally in polynomial time, this graph burning problem is a NP hard problem. So, we cannot solve it in polynomial time. Okay, let us look at the application. So, where we need it? So, this uh, graph burning problem is used to model the spread of information. So, you put uh, fire or put some messages there and how it will spread that we can model with this problem. So, suppose there is a meme and I am sharing it. So, through my social media like Facebook, Twitter, my friends will see it, then they will share it and in this way a post gets viral. We all know that. So, these kind of things are, um, so this problem is used to model this kind of. Now, as I said that this uh, problem is hard. So, let us see some known results about this problem. Kn is a complete graph. By complete graph, we mean that each um, every vertex is adjacent to all the other vertices. So, as you can see, all the edges are um, um, present there. So, if we put uh, uh, sorry, if we put fire on the red one, then in the next step, everyone will get burned because everyone is adjacent to it. So, for any complete graph, the burning number is two. So, this one we can compute in polynomial time. As I said that some instances can be computed. But if we take a path that is a long chain of vertices, this is called a path. So, here the burning number is not that much easy. It is the ceiling of square root n. So, as you can see for this uh, path with 5 vertices, we need at least 3 steps. We cannot do. But whereas here, there are so many vertices, we can do only with two steps. And if R and D are the radius and diameter, then this burning number is bounded by ceiling of square root D plus 1 and R plus 1. Now, what are the hard results? As I said, in graphs, general graphs, it is uh, NP hard, but there are some uh, restricted class of graphs, which are maybe you can say simple that uh, it looks very easy. So, we can think that maybe in this graph it is easy to find the burning number, but as we can see that for uh, trees with maximum degree 3 spider or path forest, it is also NP hard. Not only that, for caterpillars of maximum degree 3, it is also NP hard and for interval graph, permutation graph, this graph, it is NP hard. And it is polynomial time solvable only for co-graphs and speed graphs, like very, like less number of graph classes. Now, let us look at the approximation results. So, where we are uh, looking for the uh, near optimal solution. So, we can see for general graph, we have a 2.3 factor approximation algorithm. For disjoint paths, we have 1.5 factor approximation algorithm and for trees, we have a 2 factor approximation algorithm and this problem is APX hard. Now, let us look at the parameterized result. So, if we take a parameter as distance to cluster graph and neighborhood diversity, we can give a fixed parameter tractable algorithm for this. Also, uh, if we take the parameter as click width and maximum diameter, among all connected components, then there is also a FPT algorithm. And there is also a FPT algorithm when parameterized by distance to pleat graph. But if we take the parameter as the solution size, as a burning number, then there is no um, fixed parameter tractable. That's why we call it W2 complete. And these are the results we got. We have given a FPT algorithm for burning when parameterized by tree width and burning number of the graph. Also, uh, we have uh, parameterized it by distance to threshold graph. And then we have given an exponential kernel uh, for burning in trees and also an exact algorithm that runs in, sorry, there is a typo, it will be 2 to the power n, n power order of 1. And this was uh, accepted in the international workshop of combinatorial algorithms last year. So, these are the future scopes. Since we have see, uh, shown that there is exponential kernel for graph burning, so it is open that if there is a polynomial kernel or if we can prove that there is no polynomial kernel. 
and we can also uh, work on some variations of burning like uh, W burning where instead of one vertex we are putting fire at each step, we can put fire to at most W vertices for some integer W uh, that is also we can work on it. So with that I will end my talk, thank you. Lovely talk, so uh, do you have any questions? Yes. Mentioned about 1D and 2D graphs, is, are 3D graphs also interesting or uh, and what about the algorithms there, they are also in PHARD? 3D graphs? If you have larger parameter space. Oh, okay, yes, yes, we can uh, work on like uh, not one but two, three parameters together also. <coughs> Also in, like you can solve it in polynomial time if you have multi parameter. No, that uh, that is parameterized is a totally other thing. The problem is NP hard means that the problem there the parameter is not coming. But when we are going to solve the problem, there the parameter is coming. That uh, so with the parameters we are bounding the running time. So that is two different kind of things. So just curious, so let's say you talked about social media. So let's say on WhatsApp, you cannot forward a post more than five to more than five people, right? So you're restricting the number in that sense. Okay. Then what does, what happens to that kind of a problem? Because even if you have many neighbors, you may not be able to burn all the sites, nearby sites. Oh, right. Oh, I haven't think of that. Anyways, just, just yes. curious.